this is Jennifer Stay with Coloring Pages Bliss and Sweet Little Rose. You want to come up here and say hi? <laughs> this is Sweet Little Rose. Um, we are finishing up our eight video um, tutorial series of Coloring Like a Pro. Rose really wants to help with this video. <laughs> And on our last video here, we're just going to talk a little bit about enjoying the bliss of coloring. So we have talked a lot about a lot of things throughout this series of videos. And I made this card um, and had a lot of fun making it really messy on purpose. I pulled out my gel pens and spent some time just experimenting, getting messy. Uh, I've talked about that a lot in this video series about how I enjoy getting messy. Um, I'm not too bad right now, I've got some ink on me. <laughs> but um, I really enjoy art and the entire process of it. I'm trying to become more childlike and just really enjoy experimenting um, and stop being so held back by my fears of, of what if it doesn't work, what if I fail, what if the combination um, of the colors messes up or it doesn't look right. And just get my hands in there and try it out. Um, I recently got to go to my son's class and present this something similar to this series of tips to his class and I taught them a another little hint using some markers and then I handed out a whole bunch of markers and taught them the tip and then sort of, <laughs> hi Rose, and then I sort of just let them go for it and I watched them play with their markers and they were using techniques and, uh, not techniques, but they were using combinations with the colors that I had been afraid to even try and I was just sort of ashamed of myself for not even trying them and so it was another reminder yet you know I've been doing coloring pages for years now and I had to re be reminded yet again that I need to enjoy the bliss of it and stop being so caught up in worrying about failure and so when I did this card I did just that. I grabbed a whole bunch of gel pens and I went for it. I even drew a whole ink on my fingers and did little smear marks all over. Um, as I was going I came up with this neat little way to smear the ink um, make the heavy border and smear the ink into the middle and uh, really embraced the mess and liked how that worked and you know the lines are all twisted and and the the lettering isn't quite right and but I liked how um the <laughs> sorry about Rose <laughs> I like how the the dot on the top of the eye turned out um I don't think you can see um, as well, but there's some shading in there that I really like that I'm gonna have to practice more on and work on and if I like it even more I'll probably do a little tutorial on that. I liked the combination over here with the different metallics. Um, I just really had a fun time and it just reminded me to enjoy the bliss of coloring. Um, I've also been watching good old Bob Ross. I grew up watching Bob Ross on PBS um, and seeing his oil painting and he was such a fun, happy man to watch paint. Uh, I grew up watching that and I recently discovered that his shows are being rebroadcasted again and his quotes are so perfect and uplifting and and he talks about how there are no mistakes and I, I wonder if that's where that comes from because that's you know my theme is there are no mistakes um, and he says there are no mistakes just happy accidents and I try to think of that when I'm drawing coloring pages too that um, if I make a mistake I try to work it into the design and I often come up with an even more creative design because of doing that. He also talks about talent is just pursued interest and I truly believe that. 
when I hear people say, oh, I'm not good at coloring, I can't be a pro, I'll only ever be a beginner, um, I have no talent, I, I look at them and I think that's not true um, because talent just really is people who sat down and really wanted to learn it and so they took the time and they really practiced their techniques. They were willing to try new tools. They um, listened to other people who had experience and tried their techniques. So um, things like limiting their palette. Um, they learned or relearned things they thought they knew and went back and practiced these things like basics, like getting their strokes nice and straight and even. Um, they expanded their knowledge on things so that they could make their talent grow, like adding texture. Um, they were willing to add new techniques and combine old techniques like folding. <laughs> Rose is now digging on her pillow. <laughs> um, pros, they, they take things like shading and blending and they just practice and practice and they work at it and that's what makes a pro um, and that's what is the difference between someone who is talented and someone who feels like they're not talented it's just people who practice when I started drawing I started drawing because I had pain and I needed a distraction and so I started drawing and I believed I truly believed that I was not an artist. I couldn't draw, but I needed an outlet, a creative outlet that I could do from a recliner, and so I started drawing. And that has led me to a talent that I never knew I had, and now I get to share that talent with with thousands of people, and I feel so blessed. And so I want to remind you again that talent is nothing but a pursued interest, just like Bob Ross said. Um, art, this is me, my quote here, art gives me permission to play in a world full of colorful possibilities that lead to blissful moments of creative joy. Um, amidst stress and pain, I find these blissful moments of creative joy, and they are there to be had. I, I do experience a lot of pain, and coloring and art and drawing is my biggest outlet other than my family and so I encourage you to use art when you're stressed and upset and in pain. Pull out your art and use it. I've created a lot of art online and I have it available. A lot of it is free. Um, I do have some membership level that's called premium that is a paid membership level. It's only five dollars um, if you feel like supporting me. I'd appreciate it and you can sign up to be a premium member. Rose and I would appreciate it. <laughs> but um, I also just want to share my art with people so that you can experience the bliss that I've been experiencing. So please visit my website and um, take advantage of that and enjoy the bliss that's there. Let me move Rose to the floor here. <laughs> I wanted to share with you a few of my finished coloring pages in my coloring book here to give you some ideas as you start applying the tips we've done here. Um, this is a really good example of a lot of good blending. Um, if you do pick up my coloring book, I have five tips in the beginning of my coloring book to help you with your, uh, with your coloring, to help you be more blissful as you color. So that's something you can look forward to if you decide to buy my coloring book. Some of these coloring pages we have seen. This one is a really pretty one and this one I used pastels for the background. Uh, we're going to do a video on backgrounds and I can show you that. This is a gel pen where I was experimenting with the neons and a few glitters with the gel pens. Let me skip forward here. This one turned out really pretty. These are Prismacolors. Let me see here. This one turned out really pretty. 
This one I think was a different set other than the Prismacolor and you can really tell the difference. It's the colors are quite mute. There's another one with the gel pens. Um, this one I really like uh, as far as discussing gradients and shading with one color. I, that's how this background was done with going from dark to a lighter shade. Oh, that's pretty. This one turned out really soft and pretty. That one we saw in a different video. This one I really like. I have to move this one in the lights a little bit so you can see all the gel pen effects. This one, I really did a lot of gel pen blending in there. Turned out really pretty. Okay. This one here was um, an experiment with Sharpies and not too happy with this one, but um, that's all right because it was just a blissful moment of coloring and I learned a lot from it. Let's see. And then I'll let you see this one here. This mandala turned out really good too. Another gel pen with some blending here. So um, again, come and pick up a free coloring page from my website and dive in and start coloring. Try out these techniques and see what you can create. I would love to see what um, progress you make and see what kind of skills and techniques you apply from the videos. Uh, any feedback or other things you'd like to learn, please comment below and let me know so that I can make a video for you. Really enjoyed doing this series and Rose and I would like to say thank you for taking the time for watching them and we truly do hope you have a beautiful and blissful and very colorful day. Thank you.